Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a super 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 exciting one. I am so keen to try all this makeup that I've got over here. So we're doing a full face of all new makeup. This is a makeup brand. They are called Focalou. 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 I think I'm saying that right. Anyways, it'll all be in the description bar down below, all the information. They are a cruelty-free, affordable makeup brand. So it's perfect for you guys who are, you know, doing your makeup on a budget or anything like that. I know for me, that is my life right now, like makeup being on a budget. So I have a whole bunch of their products for you guys to see me test out. If you would like to purchase any of their products, I will leave everything linked down below. I think I also, let me just check... I also have a discount code for you guys to use if you do want to purchase any of these products. I mean, they're already affordable and then you'll get an additional discount code to use with your purchases at checkout if you would like to use it. I'll leave that linked down below for you as well as like if I have it like on the screen here. But otherwise, yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh my god, guys. I'm literally so excited. Okay guys, so I've just gone ahead and applied my base, just like foundation concealer powder. So I just went in with my Airborne Perfecting, Perfecting Liquid Foundation SPF 15 and I went in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And then I just set that with my Raw Press Powder. So that's literally just the base products that I used. I didn't get sent any base products to try out. But otherwise, the rest of the products that I use on my face will be the Focular Cosmetics. I was like that. I know I keep saying that, but I literally am. I know there's a couple of, like, I think there's a couple of doubles. I think there's two eyeshadow palettes in here. So I might try one today and then I'll do, like, another tutorial using uh, the products. Because I do I think I have two lipsticks as well. So I'll try, like, one of them today and then I can do another video trying the others but I'm keen I'm keen where to start where to start I think I might do my brows first so the exciting part is I've never used like a brow cream before they had the choices of a brow pencil I'm not sure they had a, I think they had a brow powder as well but I've already tried brow powders brow pencils before I've never worked with like sorry the ASMR for you guys. <laughs> I've never worked with like uh, brow gel, brow creams before, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll give that a try because they get me choose the products that I wanted to go in with. I went like I went and chose dark brown, so it's O3. Uh, they have a range of different shades. I'll make sure, um, like I said, to link everything that I use down below in the description, plus their website and their Instagram, so you guys can check them out if you want. But I think I was pretty bang on with the colour, especially because I knew I was dyeing my hair like darker so I didn't want to take it. I don't want anything like too light. Let me just let me just like this up. Yeah that's a good that's a really good shade. Ooh hoo hoo look at that look at that. So I'm going to take an angled brow brush and I'm going to carve out my brows using the dark brown shade. It's like a reddish undertone too to this brown I feel. It's like movie almost like so I'm feeling it's got the red undertones. So it's not a chocolate brown. I do actually think they had a chocolate brown shade though. But I went with the dark brown. Um, but I don't actually mind the reddish undertones to it just at this point in time. It does go on really smooth and creamy, which is really good. It's not dried out or hard to work with. It's super pigmented, like wow. And I've always known like you've always got to be quite uh, light handed with gels as opposed to like a powder just because they do come out like BAM whereas a powder you can p build up more but I actually am really digging the gel so these are the finished brows I just ran a bit of clear brow gel through them as well um, just to stick the hairs down in place if you want an in-depth brow tutorial using the gel I can do that separately I just don't want to have an in-depth tutorial on this video I'm more trying out the products just to see how they wear on the face how they apply the color just everything like that I actually really love this deep brown shade it does have like I'm thinking it's like a reddish purplish undertone I think it's red a slight red undertone to it which suits my hair color because I have got like that slight reddish purplish undertone to it. I'm just thinking like in this more sparse area where I've applied it, you can notice the undertone a little bit more rather than through the actual brow hairs. 
So just keep that in mind. Yeah, the colours more have got like that maroon undertone to it. So maybe chocolate brown will be a better fit for those dark brown hair girls. Just keep that in mind. But overall, the application was so smooth, like the gel just glides on, it blends in so easily, it doesn't look sharpyish. If you want to feather it through, that is easily done. So I do really like that gel and I will keep using it. it just creates such a sharp, structured brow. Like, mm. Fully what in life. So these are the two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Smile Like Sunshine eyeshadow palette. And this one is the Go Travel palette. Oh my god, yes. This is Perth. Like, this is number three high Perth. Oh, travel palette for sure. I'm keen to see what colours are actually in this one. The only thing is, I just don't like how everything is wrapped in plastic. Like, I understand why it is, but it's just so not helpful for the environment. Oh, the packaging is so gorgeous. I know you can see little shimmery flecks on the writing oh it's so beautiful oh <gasps> oh so this is the color range isn't that stunning that blue has caught my eye so much but these ready brown tones like these neutrals there's a few colors that you can play with that's really beautiful i wonder if it's like holographic oh it's a glitter oh so that's that shade i was talking to you guys about that I just pointed to in the palette. It's like a glitter shade. It is so pretty. I could do so many fun looks with this palette. Oh, the names are so flipping cute. They also have like little images in the actual eyeshadow like mattes. How cute. How cute is that? So again, same as the packaging in the box it came in. But it's so sweet. On the mirror it says, every time you smile, I smile. Oh, my heart. So as you can see, these are the colours in the actual palette. It's got this gorgeous like greeny shade, yellows, a couple of neutrals. Like it's a very simple, very cute palette, I would say. I'd use it a lot in summer. I guess you could get away with a lot of those light tones. I think I will play with the Perth one today. This one is fun. I will use it in another tutorial. But yeah, I definitely think I will be using Perth today. I think there's a lot more range and. It's one of the more popular palettes, I think, at the moment. Plus, it's a travel palette. Like, I could totally bring this with me overseas when I go over next year. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Oh. Plus, I appreciate these both come with mirrors. I love one eyeshadow palette, especially one if you're going to travel with it. It has a mirror. So, to prime my lids today, I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You guys can use concealer if you want. I'm just using this real quick to prime my lids for the eyeshadows, just so that they really pop and stand out and we get the full effect of these eyeshadows on the skin. So let me just quickly pop a bit of this on. Just zoomed you in a little bit closer so you guys have a good full view. So I'm thinking I might keep it like a kind of coppery toned eye look today just so you guys can see how these wear and I can also go into the colours and everything on another day. I just think for this try out video I think a lot of you would like to see the more neutral tones. For me if I was to try a palette I always go straight to the colours like I just love the colors the shimmers so much so i'm just taking um beaches on my 221 soft crease brush from zoeva and that is a really pigmented shade sorry if you can hear the wind howling outside that is a really really pigmented eyeshadow i literally have just done one or two swipes and that's like so pretty the mattes aren't usually too much what i'm focused on when i look at an eyeshadow palette like if i'm trying it out just because mattes are usually the more pigmented ones. It's the glitters and the shimmers that are the real telltale sign if it's a good eyeshadow palette or not. However, this one doesn't have any fallout to it so far. There's not a lot of kickback. So, that's good. Next I'm going to take Shrimp, which is like a movie tone. And I'm just placing this under Beaches and I'm using a 227 soft definer brush this time. Next I'm going to dip into Coral and a little bit of Mount Eliza just on my petite crease brush and I'm packing that on the outer corner. Mm, there's a slight bit of fallout, nothing too major at the moment. I'm just dragging that through the crease a little bit too. And just taking some of Shrimp to buff out those edges. Plus they're all really blending out so smoothly together, like there's no choppiness. There's no patchiness, they're just blending smoothly into one another. I'm next going to take the shade Coral Reef on a pencil brush 
from gloss I'm just gonna pack that on my outer V just to deepen it up a little bit there isn't really a deep shade in this palette which is good for everyday wear but I like to have something a bit deeper maybe in there like a deep brown for that outer V area I'm going to bring a bit of Mount Eliza into the mix as well just focusing those two shades on the outer corner and just smudging them out with a bit of coral alrighty so next I'm going to take the shimmers now so I'm going to initially take Fremantle um, which is a beautiful bronzy coppery shade and just apply that on with my finger initially on the inner part of the eye I'm basically applying that over about two thirds of the lid and they're applying on really well keep in mind I am using my finger though Shimmers don't usually apply that well with brushes, but I can try it out. Let me see. So on my Morphe Chisel Shader, I'm just applying on that shimmer. Yeah, it's not applying on that well with a brush. It's a bit sparse. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Numbat, which is just a bit more of a ready tone copper, whereas the other one is more of a kind of goldish tone. So they've only really got one kind of like highlight shade so I'm going to put that on my inner corner it's called WA the so Western Australia I'm just applying it to my brow bone as well so these are the eyes so far they're so pretty I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back so I just got in with my lashes from House of Lashes. These are in the style Iconic. So I'm going to quickly finish off the eyes um, and then we can move on with the rest of the face. I'm actually kind of wanting to try out like Opal. I think it would be fun to put a glitter at least on like the bottom inner corner and it will tie in so well with these like rustic like shades. So at first I'll apply like a nude eye coal to my waterline you guys know me I just love a good nude in the waterline it just opens up the eyes so much so I'm first going to take the two shades Mount Eliza and Coral and just wiggling it pretty tight on the outer point of the eye so going back to like the fallout there literally has not been much there's been a few flecks here and there you can barely see it on the even, even on the camera yet alone in real life it's like really not noticeable so that is so good about these shadows. And I'm just going to take a bit of beaches, maybe a touch of shrimp. And I'm just basically blending out those brown tones. Making sure to always connect it up to your outer corner. Now for the exciting part. I'm going to take Opal, that gorgeous shimmer. So that's Opal, that's Pavlova. I actually might use both to be honest because the glitter will sit so well on top of Pavlova. Like Pavlova looks a bit glittery like Opal does but it actually comes out more of like a, like a shimmer, like an intense glittery shimmer. So I'm going to apply on a bit of Pavlova first to my inner corner bottom lash line. And I'm just going in with Opal over the top which is a little bit more like, like I said, a glitter. The brush didn't pick up these shades, that's why I'm using my finger. I'm just taking a little bit of beaches and a smidgen of coral. I'm just going to try my best to blend blend them in together with the glitter. I might even use some of shrimp to blend into the glitters, like in between the brown and the shimmer shade. And I'm just going to chuck on a quick bit of mascara. So my thoughts on the Perth eyeshadow palette, I love it so much. So there's six mattes, nine shimmers. I love the colour scheme. I love how the eyeshadows actually turned out on the face. They're very pigmented, easy to work with, easy to blend. Shimmers don't really apply well with your uh, brushes, but they apply really, really well with your finger. So just keep that in mind. I love the design of the palette so much. It literally reminds me of like Red Dog, like that movie. So to continue on with the rest of the face, I have a couple of different products to try out here, which I'm so excited. Before I do the rest of the face, I might even try some of this sun-kissed body oil. So I'm going to rub it on my shoulders and things and see how it applies. So I got Solar Flare shade 2. They were, I think, three different shades you could get from memory. So it comes in a little glass bottle. It's got the body oil written in gold. It's like a gold serum. And it comes with a pump. 
So I'm just going to pump it and rub it in. Ooh, so it's very golden, but to be honest, it rubs in really smooth. And you're just left with like flecks of shimmer. Oh, just look at that. That is so pretty. Oh. So it actually says you can use this on your face. You do have to apply it and like blend it in quickly. So once you apply, you want to blend it in straight away. So you get 60ml of product in this bottle. So I did also get sent a blush shade. I chose the one in Tequila Sunrise. So it's like a silky powder blush. Uh, this is an ombre blush as well. They have normal ones. I chose the ombre just because that would be so much fun. You can apply different kind of tones of it. But like look at just how beautiful that is. Like my goodness me. And I'm just applying that. Oh, it's pigmented. Oh, that is so, so beautiful. So, last face product that I have to show you today, guys, is the highlighters. Then I've got the lips next, which I'm excited about. So, I remember when I was looking through the different highlights they had, I was so happy that they had single ones, they had a palette, they had obviously the body highlight, like that oil. And I remember just absolutely loving this one. This is the Superstar highlighting palette so it comes with four different highlights also comes with a mirror too but these are the four different shades so it has pink a lighter one and two kind of more goldeny ones um it looked a little bit different on the website than it does now like right now it kind of has like a little cheap a cheap look to it i don't know if you can see it's not really getting picked up so we'll just have to see how it applies like from first glance, like all the other products have looked really, really good. Like, especially for being affordable. This one looks a little bit cheaper. I'm going to go in with the star shade and a bit of that golden one. Oh, oh, actually. Oh, well, they're applying really nice. They're not glittery shimmers, which I appreciate. I'm not a fan of glitter shimmers at all. You can definitely build it up or keep it soft as well. Oh, that is so pretty. Actually, I take it back what I said before. It's really nice. That's a really nice highlight. They're really, really pigmented too, which is so good. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Really, really like this. Okay, so the final product of today is this Focalore Who's Next Liquid Lipstick. So I'll try this out to smack bam right on the lips. I won't use a lip liner or anything. So the packaging is like... What did you call this? Like, it's not glass. It's not plasticky either. It is pretty though. It's like a kind of um, cloudy kind of look to it. It has like a doe foot applicator, which is like what I'm more interested in rather than the actual packaging itself. Because to me, like the applicator is the real deal. Oh wow, that's really pigmented. That is so so pigmented. It applies really creamy, really smooth. But yeah, like. I haven't got anything bad to say about it. I love the formula. It's really comfortable on the lips. It's not sticking as I'm talking. It's not transferring onto my teeth. It's really comfortable. It's not like sucking the moisture out of my lips. So yeah. So this concludes today guys. My full face of new products makeup. I hope you did enjoy it. I certainly did. Oh my god, I love trying out new things. Like I said, it's like Christmas, like opening up, opening up all your presents. I do have a couple of products that I will, like I said, try out in a couple other videos in the future. But I'm so happy with how this look has turned out. That highlight, oh my god, guys, since it was like the, my least favorite thing when I initially opened it, it is now my favorite thing on my face like that highlight is insane it's so beautiful anyways no more yakking thank you so much for sticking through this video i hope you did enjoy it make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on the video if you feel like i didn't add anything what i missed if you have any questions about the products it all the information like the products and their website and everything will be linked down below as long as their social as well as their social medias and i'll leave the discount code down below as well as on the screen for you guys Otherwise, guys, please let me know any future requests that you have on these videos. If you have any particular look in mind you would like me to recreate, create, recreate for you. Otherwise, have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.